all right what's up everybody today we are doing some aerial slicing in the coldness Lasher a little bit, make room for the snap, cut this coil off, I mean cut the tape, lock the tape. I usually just throw the ring cut over me. Get the snap in the back. Measurement for that is one of these and one of these. One of these and one of these. Just do it the same way every time. marks. Cold. 
my own. I can see that, but I just found the strings. Ow. The string seems to be pretty good. That bag has a hole in it. Try to prevent that stuff from blowing around everywhere. And it's not even on twice in here. 19. So I usually uh, undo the color I want first, just because sometimes it gets all interconnected with everything else and it's more of a pain to do after. Orange to 13 through 24. You'll find when those fall on the ground. I try not to boom down. And then luckily there's not even drops of these. I don't even have to have my splicer up here. Oh, 
almost lunchtime. This is number four today. No splicing in any of them. One was an end line. Feet is that way, and the line is that way. And we gotta know who built it. Alright, so we got our two separated. Start wrapping them in. I always do the right side crosses and snap. Which is our orange tube. This is gonna be our feet side. We want to I just put a zip tie on it so that's how I know what speed Put these in the corner for future. Fiber exposed. Little piece of tape. I'm just run my feed up here on this hook. Zip into the tray. Cross my non-feed side through the middle. Give her a good old three-quarter wrap, and then I'll wrap my feed. And then it falls out and goes everywhere. And that's it. Very easy. Not too cold today.
Start it up.
are now in the presence of a king.